I guarantee you that this is the only Bellroy Tokyo Topak review that you'll ever have to watch. In this insider guide, I'll uncover everything you need to know about this bag to decide whether or not it's the pack for you. And if it's not, I'll give you some alternative recommendations at the end of this review so you can find a pack that best suits your needs. All right, let's start with the gist. What is your deal? And I'll be honest, out of many packs, I'm having a hard time cracking this one because I've actually been wearing this as my everyday carry for the past two weeks. I don't get to do that with all packs, but this one I was really interested in. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna really get to know you. And this bag's kind of a conundrum because in some ways it's like the coolest EDC ever and I love it. And in some ways I think it's like, ah, oh, you're kind of lame and I don't like it. In some ways it makes so much sense, all these features and this tote pack fusion. And in some ways I'm like, is it just like a marketing thing? Or like, what is it actually accomplishing? You'll get all of what I'm saying by the end of this review. But ultimately this is a pack that is a tote pack, right? So you got the tote aspect here and the pack aspect here. And if you wanna go full pack, you can't really get rid of the tote part, but if you wanna go full tote, you can go ahead and unclip the shoulder straps and stow them into the back panel. As with all Bellroy products, it's like that quirky urban look. Like, yo, I'm serious. And like, I can go to a business meeting with this, but I'm also like super hip. And that's why I rock Bellroy, because it's cool. And they're just so good at nailing aesthetics. They're so good. How do they do it? The materials in particular, they're really going like, Cool, they're really taking some risks, right? Everyone's like, ballistic nylon. Our backpacks use ballistic nylon. But Bellroy's like, how about hippie fish scale rainbow? How does that sound? And I love how they're doing this cool retro, just different vibe they're bringing to the table. This material is some sort of nylon. The weather resistance was a little underwhelming, but the aesthetic aspect of it was just really cool. And this bag actually comes in one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. It should be noted there's two sizes available, a 14 liter and a 20 liter. The 14 liter weighs 1.5 pounds and can fit up to a 13 inch laptop. And the 20 liter is 1.9 pounds and can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. This is the 14 liter. This is the bag when it's packed out. Throughout this entire review, I'll show you what I'm packing in here and how it all works so you can see if this is a bag that you can use for your everyday carry. This is the bag on me. For reference, I'm five foot eight. The comfort is great for a 14 liter. You don't need a lot of padding. I wish that there was a bit more ventilation going, but Bellroy is like, we don't do ventilation, bro. That's not our thing. If you want ventilation, seek elsewhere. But I like the shoulder straps. I like what's going on. We'll talk about the comfort a bit more in depth in the back section of this review. And for all you see before you, the 14 liter will run around 185 US dollars and the 20 liter will cost around 200 US dollars. And if at any point in this review, you're like, dude, I want that Tokyo tote pack. Bring me to Tokyo. Then we do ask that you make your purchase using the first link in the description. The reason is that link makes sure that you get the best price, but it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about the front of the Bellroy Tokyo tote pack. The first thing that you really notice with the front of this pack is the overall aesthetic. We talked about these cool hippie fish scale rainbow materials they're using, and there's other color options available. But I'm like, if you're gonna go Bellroy, like go full Bellroy. When I first got Bellroy packs, like I just got like the blue or the black, but now that I got this material, I, just, I, I like it. It's, it's fun, it's cool. So I'm like, yo, if you're gonna do it, do it. And as always, Bellroy's super subtle branding with their leather, actually it's not leather anymore. I'm not sure what material it is. They're moving past leather at this point, but just the way the whole aesthetic works together and these little touches, like this little orange right there, little orange right there, right? It all just works so nicely together. Aside from that though, we have two pockets in the front to talk about. And they're each on either side and they're split in the middle. So they're separate pockets. They do not connect. They're basically the same minus one difference. Each pocket is open with a YKK zip, non-PU coded. Should be noted that none of these zips are PU coded, which is going to be a deal breaker for some of you. There's gonna be a lot of deal breakers on this bag for some of y'all. And on this side, the left side, you have a key ring solution, but no other additional organization. And then on this side, the right side, you actually have a pocket. This guy right here. So here's how I've been packing this bag out. I've been doing like a left side, right side thing. On the side of my keys, right, I'm doing like things that I have a tendency to grab more often, which is keys, wallet. I'm using the Peak Design um, mobile wallet. 
and my AirPods. Those are my three things that I'm usually grabbing, putting back in the bag, taking out of the bag the most. So that's on the side that I'm most likely to swing it over on my shoulder with, and that's there. Other side, I'm doing like medical stuff. And it's not really medical stuff, but I have tissues, which I do need quick access sometimes. Uh, backup mask, living in Hong Kong. It's a different world out here. Food, it's kind of medicinal, right? I need food to survive. Nicotine gum, I'm quitting smoking. It's kind of medicine, right? So all that's on the other side. And I like these pockets because of the quick access, right? You swing the bag on around and it's like, oh, I have to pay for that beer. That's right. Here's my wallet, take it. Is that how you pay for things? You just give people your wallet? Or, oh, I want to open my door. Or, oh, I want to listen to the new Kendrick Lamar album, right? Whatever it might be, that quick access, to me, is a game changer, especially in an everyday carry. Now, one thing to note, though, is because of the sort of getup of this bag where both pockets are like the same on each side, is that like, you got to kind of remember which shoulder to sling it over, right? So, like, my dominant shoulder is my right shoulder. That's why it's so big and bulky. No, it's because I'm right-handed. So, I know that I'm most likely going to carry my backpack on my right shoulder. Therefore, most likely to swing it over my right shoulder. So, therefore, the things that I grab the most often, aka keys, wallet, headphones, this side. But then it does mean when I'm like, oh, I want a piece of nicotine gum or, or I need a tissue. I have to, like, do the math. I'm like, wait, which side? Uh, it, yes, yes, this side. I think, I, I think. Yes, this side. But I think that you'll build your own system and you will get used to it over time. I'm not crazy about this pocket though. Like I sometimes kind of use it, but it's a little loose for me. I don't really know the point of it. Um, I feel like it was supposed to be stitched in, but it wasn't because it was two smaller pockets. I would have been all about that, but this one bigger pocket, it's just kind of like, I don't know. I don't completely get it, but I guess I'd rather have it there than not. And that's about it. The front's super simple, but let's talk about the middle. We'll have a bit more to unpack. We'll start on the sides. Notice how sleek it is, how streamlined it is. When you're carrying this bag, nothing's really catching anywhere. You're just moving full speed ahead. And one big reason for that is there's no external water bottle on this bag, water bottle holder. You hear that? That's the sound of half the people watching this review leaving. Because as I've had a backpack review channel for years, I've realized that people are very particular about the location of their water bottle holder. And half the people out there needs to be on the outside, which I get, right? A water bottle holder on the outside ensures that, you know, if there's a spill, it's not gonna happen inside the bag. And it also just helps to free up the bag, right? You have more space in the main compartment for your other stuff, and then you can carry things on the outside. And you can carry other things in those pockets. I get it, I get it. But I kinda like it when there's a water bottle holder in the main compartment. And the reason is for my lifestyle. And see, Margaret, the Nomad Nation videographer right here, she agrees with me. We both like water bottle holders in the main compartment because we live in Hong Kong. And it's like this crazy busy city where people are like, you're just like running into people all the time and you're jumping in and out of trains. And it's just like, it's just like kind of insanity, right? So for me, when the water bottle holders on the side, I'm like catching on things and I'm snagging on things and it's just taken away from the ness. And that's why I like the water bottle holder in the main compartment. Moving up, we have this little thing going on. And it's mostly for aesthetics. There's some functionality to it. It's to make sure that like, you know, the edges of the top of the main compartment aren't like sticking out like this, right? This is a little bit more curvaceous and elegant look to it. But also it does provide a little functionality. You can do external carry there, right? I got the um, hand cleaning device from Orbit Key. Great carabiner. You can clip things on there if you want. I'm not much of an external carry guy, but if you want to, you can do so. Same thing on the other side, nothing to really talk about there. Let's talk about the top though. So we got the tote handles. Here's the thing with these tote handles, they're fine. I'm not gonna like praise them. They're not like amazing, but they get the job done, right? It's like, it's a tote. It's it's they're, it's they're it's a nice material. There's not too much padding, but my guy's 14 liters. I don't really need there to be a lot of padding. Tote handles, they're fine. You got plenty of room, loose enough, while also being tidy enough. Enough distance here, they're solid tote handles. Like they didn't reinvent the wheel. The tote handles work. Moving on. Main zip. Remember, not PU coded. But on the bright side, these are YKK zips. They got a really nice look to them. Like mine are like a matte black and I love the orange zipper poles. You got a loop here, right? A little extra functionality. You can just do one of those or if the bag falls, you can actually grab the bag with these. It's a little thing, but it, you'll notice it. It's a very teethy zipper. <laughs> But I don't think it looks cheap. Sometimes Bellroy zippers can look a little cheap to me. Maybe it's the matte black on this as to where it sort of makes it look a little bit more premium. But having owned Bellroy products for a long time, I can say that the zippers have stand stood. To, they last a long time. They're good zips. It's YKK, you can't go wrong. But let's talk about one of the big cons of this bag, and that's this. 
the main compartment, or should I say access to the main compartment? Because like the Peak Design tote, for instance, that's a tote with also limited capacity into the main compartment, but they're like, hey, but we'll give you a little side zip on either side, which can give you another point of access into the main compartment. And Bellroy said, F you. You only get the top zip and that's it. Now it's not the end of the world, but it's just sort of something you need to be aware of in terms of the user experience because, you know, it's a little black holey, right? It's like it's tough to sort of see what's at the bottom. You know, things get lost down there. It's, it's just, it's a thing. And as I was using it for the past two weeks, it didn't bother me because you do get to sort of used to it. But it is worth noting that, you know, you're, if you're looking for like an EDC, it has like that clamshell opening, like the Manal Daily Carry, right? Getting to the bottom of that bag is a breeze. This not quite as breezy. In the main compartment, we have one, two side pockets, one pocket on the front, and two sleeve pockets on the back. The side pockets are, is where I'm putting my water bottle. One little thing I like about these is they put a little pull tab on these pockets. So it just makes it a little bit easier to kind of grab it, right? So I'm putting my water bottle in. It's like, I don't want to like finagle. You just go ahead and grab that and it just slides right in. A little touch, nice touch. And one thing to note is these pockets are actually quite deep. So this water bottle pocket goes all the way down basically to the bottom. So you notice on the other side, I have a little tripod. And below that, I've got another tote, a tote within a tote. But because of how deep those side pockets are, you can really pack them full and put a lot of stuff in there. On the front pocket, we got some Bellroy branding, which I haven't even read because it's so tough to get in there. I'm like, I'd like to read this, but it's, it's, it's hard. Designed to move with you, blah, blah, blah. Bellroy's typical branding and it's adorable little owl who I named Tom. I love Tom. But below Tom, we have this zippered pocket right here. Mesh, gray, stretchy high quality, love what's going on here. And for me, it's a good spot for the shades. Now, normally I like my shades to be a little bit easier to access, access, easier to grab. This bag makes you do the extra step though, cause it's like I walk outside, I, I freaking hate the sunlight. My, my eyes are very sensitive. So I get outside, I'm like, oh, and I'm, I gotta take the bag off. I'm, like, I, I'm blind, you know, and like I'm doing one of these. Um, I do miss like a bag where it just has like a quick access pocket, maybe like, I don't know, like on the side or something, just so I can grab the shades a bit easier. Yeah, I guess I could put my shades here or here. I guess that's a good point, but it just seems like it should go here. So that's why they go here. Yet again, YKK zip, super easy access. I like the pocket. Last part for the main compartment is sort of the tech area. Two sleeves, right? We got a smaller sleeve here. I am putting my moleskin there. I got a couple of pens there. There's no dedicated pen pockets in this compartment. That's it. So I got to sort of slide it on right here. This would also be a good location for an iPad or maybe a Kindle. And then finally you have the laptop compartment. Now remember for the 14 liter backpack, it can fit up to a 13 inch laptop, which is perfect because I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. And you're like, wait, Aaron, what's this? Just hold on. And I'm like, oh, I'll put my MacBook Pro in there, in here. And then I'm like, I just spent 2000 freaking dollars on this thing. And I just like it to be super well protected. And I don't think this is the greatest laptop compartment ever made at this price point. It's good. I just wish that the false bottom was just a little bit more falsy. It kind of runs right here. I know they tried, like this is a very flimsy bag, right? Which is nice because it just takes the form that you needed to take and it feels light on your back. But this, you can see right here, it's sort of like bending over itself, right? So there's supposed to be like a false bottom like this, but there's no structure in the back panel to keep it like that. So it sort of falls over. So it doesn't really protect it perfectly. But for me, that's fine because recently I just got the Rush Faster laptop sleeve. Shout out to my boys over at Rush Faster. So I've been sort of double wrapping as to where I'm putting my laptop in the sleeve before I actually put it in the sleeve. You know, if you are looking for the ultimate laptop protector backpack, this is not it. I'll give you an alternative recommendation for what could be a better one a little bit later in the review. Final answer. Let's talk about the back of the Tokyo Tote Pack. Really not much to discuss, right? We just got the shoulder straps and the back panel. The shoulder straps, like I said, they can be unclipped. This G-hook is a little finagly. G-hooks, they just have a tendency to get caught in things. It's never super smooth, but when you get it, you get it. But then I'm like playing with this bag and I'm like, when am I ever going to stow away the tote straps? Like, I like the idea. I like I liked the idea, but I just never did it once in the two weeks that I was using it. But maybe that's the thing with like a feature like this. You never need it until you need it. And then you're thankful that you have it. So you got this buckle right up here, also nicely branded. Unpop the buckle, shoulder straps in, repop the buckle. And now you are in full tote mode. But like I said, I don't know when you'd use it like this. But 
if you want to, the option is there. And then going from full tote mode into backpack mode is easy. Just unpop, right? Take the straps out. I mean, this is what Bellroy does best is like simplicity, right? And that's why they could be my favorite backpack brand. It's so hard to pick a favorite. I can't, they're not my favorite, but they're up there. And the reason is they're just so unap unapologetically them. They're like, dude, we make cool, high quality bags, but like screw all that high tech stuff. We're about simplicity. I also like them because of their shoulder straps. They're always comfy, thinner, but on the comfier side. This is a 14 liter backpack for the 20 as well. You don't need them to be like super beefy. You might prefer it, but I don't think that you need it. Nice little style too with this nylon band running down. You got uh, Tom right there. Say hi, Tom. But one of my favorite things about this tote pack is what Bellroy has done right here. And I've only seen this done on one other bag, which is the Day Owl backpack, which ironically has an owl and is kind of like a tote bag as well. But we, ladies and gentlemen, have a no dangle shoulder strap situation going on here. As to where normally the backpack sort of has like the buckle and like the, the, the excess nylon sort of like flap it all over the place. And sometimes there's a nylon holder as to where you can keep it in its place, but it doesn't always listen, right? Bellroy has included a solution that is just so beautiful and so seamless and so damn awesome. And I'm in love with it. Notice this, no dangle. So when you're carrying the bag, it's just this. It's just that on either side. And it's an absolute freaking joy. Now it should be noted that modifying it can be a little, I don't know, it takes a while to get used to. Like it's not as easy as like an old school backpack, you know, thing where you just go or like, you know what I'm talking about? Um, but the good news is that you're really not gonna be like modifying the size of your backpack too often. Normally you sort of find that sweet spot and you just rock it. And speaking of rocking it, Bellroy rocked it with this actual material here. It's like a metal material, right? Small touch, but it just feels nice when you're interacting with it. It looks clean, that little matte finish. And you know, this from here to here, I'm just like in love with what's happening. And this is one of my favorite things that I've seen in a backpack in a very, very long time. Props to Day Owl too for doing the same thing. And then finally, the back panel. Yet again, Bellroy is sticking to their guns. Like, we don't do back ventilation. And there's no real ventilation happening here, which means on hot summer days, especially in places like Hong Kong, when you're wearing this backpack against your back, you might get a little, little, little mat sort of situation going on, right? A little, little, ooh, a little extra stickiness. But for people in hotter locations like me, or people who have a lot of back sweat, this might be a deal breaker. Let's discuss the overall pros and the overall cons of the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack. Pro number one, the look. Pro number two, the two quick access pockets in the front are highly functional. And pro number three, the no dangle. I love this so much. But on the flip side, this backpack certainly has its fair share of cons. Con number one is going to be compromised access to the main compartment. Con number two, a lack of ventilation on the back panel. And con number three is I think that at this price point, the tech compartment could have been a bit more secure. So if you have taken the pros and the cons into consideration and you're like, Aaron, I'm taking the first train to Tokyo and you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask so that you use the first link in the description, just right down there. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thank you very much. But let's say you're not quite sold. Like Aaron, I'm not going to Tokyo. Buy me a ticket somewhere else. Let me give you a couple alternative recommendations. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the Day Owl backpack or the Slim backpack. This is gonna be perfect for you if you like this sort of like retro tote backpack fusion, but you want a more secure laptop compartment. And on top of it, it has an internal water bottle pocket that's separated from the main compartment. Quite nifty. To learn more about the Day Owl backpack, yonder down to the description and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Wandered Provoke or the Proverky. I have no idea how to pronounce it. This bag is for you if you still want that tote backpack fusion, but you want something a bit more modern, a little bit more trendy. It's a beautiful bag and it's got an amazing tech compartment and a lot of innovative features. And did I mention it's like gorgeous. And if you want to learn more about the Wandered Provoke, you can do so by navigating down to the description and clicking on the link to our full review. And alternative recommendation number three is going to be the Peak Design Tote Pack. This is going to be ideal for you if you still want a tote pack, but you want a bit of access to the main compartment. And it's especially great if you're a photographer and you want that quick access and you can access your DSLR gear, camera gear, so on and so on. It's a really nice tote pack and you can learn all about it by going down to the description 
and clicking on the link to our full review. And speaking of which, if you're still here, I think that you're not quite sold yet, so I'm gonna say you need to watch our full Peak Design tote pack review. It's bringing something new to the table. It's really well designed, what by Peak Design isn't. And you can watch the review right here. And be sure to let us know what you think about all these bags in the comments below. I'm Aaron, this is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.